Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we will solve the wonderful maths equation here that is square root of 2 minus square root of x plus 2 is equals to x. But before I begin the solution, let me request you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more maths related videos. Let's start the solution. So there are two three ways of solving this particular equation wherein in the first step you can either take log both the sides that will create a logarithmic form of equation but I would suggest that we go by the simplest root possible. So for the simplest root possible here there are the, the best option or the best alternative is to basically see how this square root can be removed because there are two square roots present simultaneously. So the outer square root can be removed only by one method and that is let's square both sides. So as soon as we square both the sides this will be square root of 2 minus square root of x plus 2 whole square is equals to x square. So this square will remove the outer square root. So this will be 2 minus square root of x plus 2 is equals to x square. So now we will basically shift these two numbers on one side and we will shift square root of x plus 2 to, to the other side. So this implies that 2 minus x square is equals to square root of x plus 2. Clearly here the next best option is to again square both the sides. So this implies that 2 minus x square whole square is equals to square root of x plus 2 whole square. This implies that now this is basically a minus b whole square. So this will be a square plus b square minus 2ab okay is equals to x plus 2. Now when we arrange these numbers this will be x to the power 4 minus 4x square let us shift the other variables on the left hand side. So this will be minus x plus 4 minus 2 is equals to 0. Applying the next step we have x to the power 4 minus 4x square minus x plus 2 is equals to 0. Now after this you can either use the division formula because clearly if I substitute x equals to 2 in this case then the entire LHS will become 0. So I can say that x equals to 2 is the factor and then you can go ahead by dividing this equation by x minus 2 in the long division method. But I would suggest that directly jumping on to the long division method let us take x square common. So taking x square common we have x square minus 4 and minus 1 common so this is x minus 2 is equals to 0 here. Now this implies that x square into x square minus 4 can be written as x minus 2 into x plus 2 minus of x minus 2 is equals to 0. This implies that x minus 2 can be taken as common. So in the inside we have x square into x plus 2 minus 1 is equals to 0 okay. This implies that x minus 2 into x cube plus 2x square minus 1 is equals to 0. Now here we can clearly see that x minus 2 equals to 0. This implies that x equals to 2 is one of the solutions. So the remaining part is x cube plus 2x square minus 1 equals to 0. This part here needs to be factorized. Clearly this part here if I substitute x equals to minus 1 it satisfies the above equation. This implies that x equals to 1 is a sorry x equals to minus 1 is a factor. So that means this entire cubic equation which is x cube plus 2x square minus 1 
can be divided by x plus 1. So this will be x square, this will be x cube plus x square minus minus. So this will be x square. Next we will multiply by plus x. So this will be x square plus x minus minus. So this will be minus x minus 1. So here we will then lastly divided this by x minus 1. So this will, this will be minus x minus 1 on cancelling out becomes 0. This implies that this entire cubic equation can be further factorized as x minus 1 into x square plus x minus 1. So this implies that our original equation will be something like this x minus 2 into x plus 1 into x square plus x minus 1 is equals to 0. Now if you want integral solutions clearly this part of the solution will generate complex roots. So for integral solution only these two will be taken into consideration. Hence x equals to 2 is one of the solution and x equals to minus 1 is the other solution. So that means this is our final answer. So I hope you really like this video. For more such video please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.